साईराम स्टुडंट्स वेलकम टू द थर्ड सेशन ऑफ चैप्टर सिक्स दैट इज एंगल्स सो चिल्ड्रन इन द लास्ट सेशन वी सॉ हाउ टू ड्रॉ एन एंगल ऑफ अ गिवन मेजर राइट सो यूजिंग अ प्रोटेक्टर वी वी ड्रू एन एंगल ऑफ वॉट एवर मेजरमेंट वॉज गिवन राइट ऑल्सो वी सॉ दैट द एंगल्स वर गिवन एंड वी टूक द प्रोट्रैक्टर एंड वी मेजर्ड वॉट डिग्री द एंगल इज एंड इन द लास्ट वी सॉ द डेफिनेशंस ऑफ द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ एंगल्स दैट इज द राइट एंगल एक्यूट एंगल एंड ऑप्टूज एंगल सो वॉट वॉज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ राइट एंगल एंगल ऑफ मेजर ऑफ नाइंटी डिग्री इज कॉल्ड एज अ राइट एंगल एंड वॉट वॉज एक्यूट एंगल डेफिनेशन एंगल हुज मेजर इज लेस दैन द राइट एंगल दैट इज नाइंटी डिग्री is called as the acute angle and what was the definition of the obtuse angle angle whose measure is more than 90 degree right uh, more than the right angle that is 90 degree is called as the obtuse angle right so now let's start with today's session so today we are going to see about the parallel and perpendicular lines so you can see here on the screen children the parallel lines now the first picture which is there it is about the bars which are there on the window right so this is your window and these are the bars which are parallel to each other right and the second figure is of a ladder right the uh, steps that is called as ladder for which you used to climb if you want to uh, take uh, if any uh, object is kept up so you you require a ladder to bring it down so this is a ladder so you can see children these two lines which are there over here these are parallel lines also you can see these two these are the steps of the ladder so these are also parallel to each other so parallel lines are those which are parallel to each other they never meet each other right how much ever you stretch the line it will always remain parallel to each other the next so the definition of parallel lines is parallel lines do not intersect that is they do not cut each other no matter how far they are extended on the either side so same thing i told you children parallel lines they never meet each other they do not intersect that is they do not cut each other right so how much ever you extend the line on the uh, either side they will never meet each other right so those are the parallel lines so parallel lines are those which do not intersect that is they do not cut each other no matter how far they are extended on the either side now next look at, have a look at the perpendicular lines so on the screen you can see children now this first figure if you can see it is a right angle right? so right angle means it is 90 degree that means it is perpendicular to each other now the second figure which you can see over here it is a pole and the a pole standing pole is there right and its shadow it is falling on the this is the shadow which is falling on the ground right so if you see this shadow which is falling on the ground that means this line it is perpendicular right so now let's see the definition of perpendicular lines when two lines they form an angle of 90 degree with each other they are said to be perpendicular to each other right so the two lines when they form an angle they form an angle of 90 degree right uh, with each other so that's why they are called as these two lines are perpendicular to each other and that is called as a perpendicular line now you can see here children this is the page of a notebook right so if you can see children in this notebook these are your parallel lines right and you can see this side right so this is your perpendicular line right so that is your perpendicular line and these lines are called as the parallel lines right so let's start with problem set 
give two examples of parallel lines you can see in your environment so just now we saw two examples children of the parallel line so you will write first is steps on the ladder and second is bars on the window i showed you the on the screen the bars of the window they were parallel to each other and the steps on the ladder also they were parallel to each other now let's move to the second one give two examples of perpendicular lines you can see in your environment so again we have seen that the angle formed by the pole and its shadow on the ground that was perpendicular to each other also the second example is adjacent sides of wooden planks or books right the adjacent side means like this this is your book right so this is your adjacent side right plank means uh, nothing but it's a wooden table right so that wooden table also if you see they it will also look like this perpendicular right so these are the two examples you can write various other examples also children okay so the next one is look at the pictures given below decide whether the lines given in each picture are parallel or perpendicular to each other and write the answer in the box so now let's see the figures now see the first figure is what tell me children whether it is parallel or perpendicular right so what is the definition of parallel line they do not intersect each other they never cut each other right and they uh, even if you extend the line also they will never meet each other so your first one is parallel line so you will write it as you will write the answer as parallel lines right now let's move to the second figure now just see the uh, diagram children what is there in the second figure right does it look parallel no right because you can see an angle is formed right which is a right angle it forms a 90 degree angle on this side also and the uh, left hand side also so it which line it is it is a perpendicular lines right let's move to the next one now see the figure the third figure you see and tell me what is it it's a parallel line yes it is a parallel line because they are parallel to each other so you will write it as parallel lines now see the fourth figure is it parallel right it is parallel to each other because uh, you can see both the lines they are not intersecting each other right they do not cut each other so your fourth figure is also parallel lines now let's move to the next one the last figure you, what can you see children is it parallel or perpendicular it is not parallel but is it perpendicular just see yes it is a perpendicular line because it forms an angle of 90 degree so you can see here this forms an angle of 90 degree also on the left hand side it forms an angle of 90 degree then if you see down it forms an angle of 90 degree on both the sides so that means this is also a perpendicular line so with this children we finish problem set 27 right so so children let's revise the whole chapter again so first we saw children about the right angle the right angle it is always 90 degree right so next we saw about the acute angle the acute angle it is less than 90 degree then we saw about the obtuse angle the obtuse angle it is more than 90 degree then we saw children about the components of the angle that is how uh, what are the components of the angle and then we saw about the how to name an angle so what here you can see the angle abc right so this angle abc it has got two lines that is ba and bc right so this is your line ba and this is your line bc right so ba and bc they are called as the arms of the angle 
right after that children we saw that the common point is b which is also called as the vertex of the angle because the line a and the line c it passes from it is going from the point b right so b is called as the common point or it is also called as the vertex of the angle then we saw children how to name an angle so an angle it is named by three letters right so the letter which is there in the middle it represents the vertex of the angle so we name the angle as angle abc or angle cba we can name it both the way around angle abc or angle cba also we can name it as angle b right we can name it as also angle b because b is the common point so that's why we can name it as angle b then we children we saw about what is the symbol used for the angle the symbol which is used for the angle you can see here this is the symbol so you can write that symbol instead of angle right and you can write it that symbol and say abc or angle cba or angle b right so this is the way you can write, name the angles by using the symbol then children we saw about the protractor right so the protractor it is used to measure a particular angle right so this protractor it contains 0 to 180 degree and this 0 to 180 degree it is clockwise also and it is anti clockwise also right so protractor it is used to measure an angle and also to draw an angle according to a given measure and this protractor it is semi circular in shape so using this protractor as i told you we can measure a particular angle so angle abc is given so what you are going to do you are going to keep the center of the protractor on the common point b right and by seeing the angle you can recognize that it is an acute angle right so from your right hand side you can see you will start measuring it right 0 10 20 30 40 so the blue line is coming on 40 degree so you will write it as measure angle abc is 40 degree similarly children you can also draw an angle of 40 degree right so first what you will do first you will draw a line bc right so you'll draw the line and you will name it as bc then you will keep the center of the protractor on point b and you will start from your right hand side where you will see where this 40 degrees so 0 10 20 30 40 so you'll make a point near 40 degree and then you will join both the points and you will name it as a uh, as the third point right and then you will write measure angle abc is 40 degree so after that children we saw about the definitions of the angles so what was the definition of the right angle angles of measure 90 degree are called as the right angles right so in the figure angle abc it is a right angle then we saw about the definition of the acute angle an angle which measures less than the right angle is called an acute angle so angle rst you can see it is an acute angle because it is less than 90 degree that is it is less than the right angle then we saw about the obtuse angle right so an angle which measures more than the right angle is called an obtuse angle right so angle lmn which measures more than 90 degree that is more than the right angle is called as an obtuse angle and children finally we saw about the parallel lines and the perpendicular lines right so the examples of parallel lines are the bars on the window and the steps of a ladder right then what is the definition of parallel lines parallel lines do not intersect that is they do not cut each other no matter how far they are extended on the either side then the perpendicular line examples are a right angle is called as a perpendicular line right or the second example was the pole right the shadow of the pole which falls on the ground it forms an angle of 90 degrees 
so what is was the definition of perpendicular line when two lines they form an angle of 90 degree with each other they are said to be perpendicular to each other so children in the next session we will start with a new chapter till then goodbye